Hello YouTubers. If you're seeing this now on YouTube, this was a recorded live stream from Ustream.tv. If you'd like to join in the live chat, come on over to Ustream.tv, look up Inky Obsessions, click follow, and you'll be notified whenever I go live or schedule something for a future broadcast. So I am going to... Hey Joan! Great! I'm glad you got my note. Get my windows all hooked up here. You can see what I'm doing. Well, what the heck? There we go. I'm telling you. Brain's a little fuzzy. <laughs> Most of you probably read my Facebook post on how my week went. Um, let's just say I'm glad that's over. Moving onward and upward. But last time I streamed, I um, uh, made these painted papers. Um, I don't know what else I did, but this is how I ended up because I wanted to play with some of my Daniel Smith watercolors. And um, Chandra from Artistic Cat on Etsy, Cat K-A-T-T, -T, um, she joined our stream too. And she sells these half cans of Daniel Smith watercolors for a really reasonable price and she um, really great to work with and um, I wanted to try to help promote her shop and uh, hey Kia <laughs> so I was using these and she actually emailed me afterwards and asked if I would be interested in creating my own palette for her to sell as a PTP palette on her site so I thought that was pretty cool so I'm gonna work on that when I get some time um, but I had a crazy week most of you probably already know I was ended up in the emergency room Monday I didn't get out until sometime Tuesday evening and um, but all's well and ends well so um, these look really cool dry and it, but they curl you know it's watercolor paper I think I'll just squirt the back of these actually to work on them to make a collage let me try rolling it and see if I get anywhere. Or did I curl it too much? But you can see where those, um, the primary elements I threw in there. See the sheen of those and the gold splots I threw in there. And the gold streaks. And this was that cascade green that breaks up into blue and green. This was lunar blue that granulates. Uh, I forget what this was, but it's really pretty purple, like granulated, and has a little shimmer to it. Um, really pretty. But I can see this getting cut up into ATCs, and down here this is going to get really interesting. And then here's the other one um, I did in my non-comfort zone colors. <laughs> I like it, though. Uh, Xander, uh, one of the pizzas, Taco Bell pizza. Pretty sure that's what did me in. Of course, you can't prove it. But, oh, mama, be a long time before I roll through that drive-in again, i got to tell you. But you can see how this one, I was talking about this when I did it, how this orange, this is the pyrrole orange transparent feathered into this. I think that's New Gamboge. Really pretty. Now, this looks yellower, like a neon yellow on screen. This is the new Aussie Red Gold. It's much more orange than you're seeing it. You're seeing it on there. It looks to me like I'm looking at neon yellow on the screen. It is not. Hey, Vicki. But it's it's really pretty. Um, but some of these blends where all these odd colors went together. Look at this reaction down here. How this just feathered into this. I love that texture like that. And I know a couple colors that will give me that all the time now. Um, and here I just made a little boo-boo and dropped that. But look how cute my boo-boo is. I love that. So I'm going to work on this one. I know that's a shocker. But I'm going to throw together. Let me get some of this out of the way. I don't need these right now. And I am I'm thinking about selling my Schmincke palette. I never go to these colors. They're gorgeous, wonderful, top quality paints. But it's the palette as you buy it with all the assortment of all the rainbow stuff and all that stuff. I go here all the time because this is what I like to use and this is what I put together. Um, 
and I thought, you know, I paid $338 for this thing, and it's just kind of sitting here. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Some of these colors have only been touched to make the swatch, and to make not just this swatch, but a, on my one of my books I made a swatch out of. So they've been dipped into a couple times at a minimum. But there's only, I think, one that has a little divot in it, and it's barely... You can even barely see it, this turquoise. I know that's a shocker, too. But anyway, if anybody's interested, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to put them out on this um, Art Supply Facebook page that I know about. Gayla! Hey, Nina! Dorothy! Hello! I'm alive! I'm alive! Oh, God. Here's my lovey, lovey, lovey Daniel Smith. <coughs> So, oh crap, I forgot to bring down some stuff that I got. Maybe I'll run up later and get it. So anyway, let me pull out some papers to see where I can go with this. From the painted paper. Oh, you know what I'm going to use? Some of these papers. Remember I opened that package, the Happy Mail from Sue Evans, and she had these different wax papers that she had things wrapped in? <laughs> I'm going to use some of these. For sure. We'll get some of that in there. And I have very little of this left. I gotta make some more of these painted papers. I might be able to put that in there somewhere. Let's see. Here's another little schmutz of that and this. Let's see what we got, yeah. Somebody. I don't remember. Xandra, I think, sent me these. Xandra, did you send me these marble papers? <laughs> yeah, right, Gail. I'll do anything for a little attention. What's that called, though? What's that disease of the mind called where you uh, fake being sick for attention? What the heck's that called? Yeah, I think the uh, fire hose diarrhea and projectile vomiting would have swayed anybody from thinking that was the case. Hey, Glenda. No, I, I don't think it was Jane. I don't think it was uh, Jane, Jane. I think it was somebody else. Munchausers. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, I don't, do not think so. Um, oh, my God. Oh, that would have been a lot more pleasant, I can tell you that much. I should have had, my girlfriend Gail told me I should have had the ambulance swing by Weight Watchers so I could have weighed in on the way to the hospital because I was down 12 pounds in 36 hours. Unfortunately, by the time I got out, uh, two, well, not quite two days later, um, I was uh, back up 15 from all the fluids they gave me and the salty... Uh, what's that broth they were giving me it was I like salt and this was so salty I could hardly drink it but I hadn't had anything for four days so um, it tasted like I was eating one of Dave's steaks off the grill oh my god that was the best broth ever but um, I was so I still can't put my wedding rings on my hands are still swollen up oh and look at this I'll give you a little peek hopefully I don't lean over too far because I'm pulling my arm out of my shirt this is going to go to a whole different rating and a whole different video here Hey, Virginia. Hey, Martha. Um, here's just some leftovers of tracks from failed IVs, and they go all the way up my left arm. Yeah, it was a real treat. Lisa. Hello. My cra New York Crafter. Hello. That's a new name for me. Welcome. Yeah, my, I can't use my right arm anymore. No right arm procedures because when they did my mastectomy uh, 10 years ago, they took my nodes, my lymph nodes out. So I can't have any needle sticks, no blood pressure cuffs, no elas elastic blouses, no elastic watches, no nothing that constricts anything on this side. So they're left to this side. And once I was severely dehydrated, my veins were worse than normal. And normally they're bad. But... um. Yeah, getting the initial uh, IV in there. We had five different uh, nurses, techs, and IV uh, 
consultant specialist come in. Yeah, they were poking me up in my shoulders. They said if they couldn't get anything, they'd have to go on my neck or go under ultrasound, needle under ultrasound to find a vein. Hey, Sarah. So, anyway. <sighs> that was exciting. I think I'll use some of this marble stuff. Marble stuff. Get some more paint. Oops. Oh, we got painted papers flying around. I know. I, I told Dave we better watch out. A social worker is going to report him. God bless him. Uh, that's a that's a good man right there, let me tell you. Somebody was watching over me when they brought me to him. I was severely dehydrated. My electrolytes were hosed. Magnesium, potassium, sodium phosphates. I had to get bags of those all dripped. About eight or nine bags of fluid. Yeah, it was not pretty. That one might work in. All right, I got enough to start with. And then, of course, I need some black and white. Oh, look, I got a little bit of this stuff already from last time. Oh, yeah, no, I was so weak by the time... Dave tried to talk me into going Sunday. And I was like, you know... I, doesn't feel like an emergency yet. I hate to go there and have somebody with a leg hanging off and somebody having a heart attack. And there I'm like, eh, I pooped a few times. But actually it was 45 trips and then I stopped counting. I stopped counting after 45. Yeah. But um, Gail <laughs> said I should run by, get the, uh, I told you that already. Go by Weight Watchers on my way to the hospital. She's so clever, that girl. Um. That might look cool dropped in there somewhere. I might use that. That's kind of weird. That's the remainders of the holes that I punched out for my little stripe circles. Well, look at that. Um, I Sarah, I painted up these watercolor papers um, last time. I don't even know what I did at the beginning of the last stream. But I ended up this way. Um, oh, I opened Happy Mail. And... Um, now I'm going to collage on top of these and cut them up for ATCs. I did one other watercolor collage like that, and I really liked it. I thought the the matte medium, when it rewetted the watercolors, I thought it would smear it and make it a money mess. It did not. Kathy! Hello, dear. <laughs> Gala, save yourself. It's not worth it. Trust me. might throw a piece of this in there. I liked how these came out last time, too. I have some more of these somewhere. So I fly to Chicago tomorrow for work, and I was taking an earlier flight so I could go to Dick Blick, and then after all this happened, I thought, and I looked at the weather. The weather's supposed to be torrential downpours, wind, and in the 50s, and I thought, I am not going to feel like walking the streets of Chicago to go shopping, even if it is the Dick Blick mothership. That shows you how I was feeling. So I changed my flight to a later time. And uh, so I won't be able to get to Dick Blick this time, but that's all right. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. From my stash of Jones. Um, die cuts here. Throw a little something something in there. There's too many to choose from. I can't make up my mind. I'm just grabbing whatever the first bag is I grab. Uh, my brain power's a little low. But at the end of the week, Yesterday I went over, had my appointment with my cardiologist to follow up on my heart stress test, and that's all good. So my heart's in good shape. Um, no blockages, a tiny bit of plaque in one artery that is expected with my age and risk factors that you'd normally expect to see. So... 
Thank you, Jesus. I got some good news. It's hot here today. Dave's golfing. Yesterday was my brother's, um, that charity golf tournament that he helps run. And I was supposed to run the registration desk with Chelsea. I had to bail out of that. I couldn't, uh, couldn't pull it off. I couldn't miss the appointment with my uh, heart doctor. And I wanted to make sure I was released and okay to fly to Chicago. In her opinion, she said, Bon voyage, you're good to go. So, go I will. All right. No, oh, thanks, Kathy. <laughs> Yeah, ninety-three. Oh God, you're you're in Texas, Virginia? No, that doesn't sound right. Texas, Virginia. Her name is Virginia. For those on listening on YouTube, yeah. So okay, so let's get let me get myself situated. Oh, I'm gonna work some of this in too. These are the paste that um, Joan brought me. I'm going to use these in there as well. Let me put my little bits over here and start out with some little strips of paper. Oh, hang on. Last time I ran short on pictographs in here and that did not sit well with me. I wonder if I should just stamp some on now on this layer while it's still flat. Maybe that's what I'll do instead of worrying about the tissue and collaging it. That's what I'll do. Hang on. One, two. There's three different ones. Uh, crap. Where's my, oh, it's my ink pad. Still packed from North Carolina. That shows you how crazy behind I am on everything. Oh, yeah. This one's juicy at all. We'll, we'll try it out and see what we get. What is the paper? Um, this is uh, just a Strathmore pad of 11 by 15, uh, 140 pound watercolor paper. So let's just see how this works. Gonna throw some of these all over the paper. I can't hardly stand doing a project without some pictographs in there. I don't know why it's so weird. It looks naked if I don't see them. Let's try some of these. That looks like a good spot for some. Can't wait to get down into these cards and see how they're going to come out. There's primary elements. I got to start adding more of those. Don't take that personal, Kathy. See, you got booted out of chat. How rude! Now again, this looks like I'm kind of overdoing it, but. These are going to get cut up into little ATCs, so I want a little, little schmutz of this on just about every card, or every card for me, but. This one's kind of dry. My good one is all juiced up as somewhere in my packed bag from North Carolina.
I need to make up. That'll be another stream I can do someday is to just make myself some more um, tissue paper with Daddy Vans on it for my collaging for this stuff. Are you laughing at me because I said I was overdoing it? As if that's... No, I understand why. Never mind. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Overachiever. Hey, Gray. All right. Let's call that enough for now. And let me get a piece of palette paper to work off of with my, my glue. Oh, look, see, here's one. So I gotta make more papers like this. What did I do? just these little strips it looks kind of silly when you just see this little strip in the middle of nothing but I'm kind of a silly girl so you know the gold the gold one here Vicki that's um, golden fluid acrylics in the gold metallic fine And I'm just trying to put these where I see the color looks nice and a little bit contrasted. Um, it's really nice bright gold, isn't it? Let's see here. Oops. Get yeah, on up there. Cover that up. Maybe that'll go right in there. Perhaps. Perhaps it will. I'm going to get some of this on here. And this is wax. This is cold wax paper that Sue Evans hadn't wrapped my happy mail in. Hi, Lynn. And um, I'm going to try a hunk of this. Um, I'm assuming this will glue down okay with the cold wax. I've never used this or had any of this before. It's really scrumdiddlyumptious. I don't know which way it tears. Let's get it broken down here. Manageable pieces. I'm going to try to get some of this darker area in here. Try a piece of this. No, it tears pretty well. I think this is on Deli, actually. What does this look like? Is it too transparent for this? Let me get and put a piece up there. It's not going to show up everywhere, I don't think. I'm going to cover that up. It's too purple and purple. Let me try that. Mm. Three months of naps are going to fix you up for Baltimore. What are you trying to say? All right, let me glue down what I have first. And we'll see where we are after that. This is just Utrecht brand uh, matte medium. I like this stuff. <laughs> Your belly laughs all geared up. You're going to need it. All right. I'm just going to one by one. I'm just going to plop these. Oops. That's kind of stiff. I have that bad boy in there 
pops on there, all right. Bring him down the bottom. That's good. Just start slapping them down. And at this stage, it does not really matter where you put anything because most of this is going to end up covered up with future layers anyway. So just don't think too much. Just start gluing. Oh, that's cool. Those holes are transparent, so that blue comes up oh, through there. It's kind of cool. There, I think. All right, let's stick you down right here. I wish these colors would come out right for you guys. Patty, did you get your fine tech colors? I did, Xandra, and they're, that's what I wanted to bring downstairs to show. I haven't even opened up the box yet. Um, Mojo and Babe are doing great, Kathy. I'll run up later and bring them down to show, but uh, it'll be more of an unboxing because I haven't even touched anything this week. Sue, if you're watching this or you see it on YouTube, these are working really nicely. It looks like they're going to adhere just fine. I hope, I hope, I hope. That bright purple piece is kind of pretty. It would be cool if I had a couple little streaks of that, though. Let me just slide them in somewhere. Maybe, maybe. Where would you go? A little streak up into that green, maybe? Oh, that turquoise is pretty on there, too. <coughs> hmm. Let's put you right there. Oops, wrong end of the brush. Use the bristles. Works a lot better. Oh, right before I snuffed it Saturday, I had gone over to the Queen's Inc. They were having the art asylum, and um, I bought this really cool mermaid. Pictures don't do it justice. Um, it was somebody made it. It was uh, had it at one of the stands at the art asylum. Uh, it was thirty-eight inches long, and I think it was. 12 or 13 inches at the widest and it's a long mermaid her head's here her hair's flowing um, and her her bra and her body for the tail were all mosaiced with big chunks of heavy glass jars and bottles that were broken up and the grout she used was a pale teal grout and the tail the, the just the V of the tail that part of the tail um, the fin, I don't know what you call it, was um, in an antique silver, but all through her hair, um, on her head, she had a big, like a, as a headdress, she had a big starfish, and then she had these like rhinestones. I should take it off the wall and bring it down here. I'll do that. Somebody remind me later. Hey, Fancy. Welcome. Um, this is just matte medium from Utrecht, the Utrecht brand. It's pretty cheap, and I really like it. I like it better than the Goldens myself. But that's just me and my crazy ways. Um, so just the first layer in there. And it's kind of, I'm not wild about that. That's kind of too, i got to get some black and white in there. We'll see where that goes. Um, 
I'll bring it up pull it off the wall and show you. Um, I wanted to put it over our new French doors when they go in and I didn't want to put it up there now and have um, have it uh, get damaged or something when they're trying to put in our new doors in the next couple of weeks. Um, but I just, I really liked it. It really caught my eye and, uh, yeah, let's see, maybe I need to build this up smaller first. Don't let Dee Dee hear me say that. What did I say, Jean? Dee Dee, if you're listening, plug your ears. trying to get this primary elements to show in one of the about the goldens hmm I'm drawing a blank I'm not sure what I said about golden Dee Dee loves gold oh golden matte medium oh I see no I don't like it it's gritty to me and when I put papers down and go to glue them they they're, they slide I don't like that I do not I do not like that all right, let's just more glue and less chat. Let's get going here. I really like, um, yeah, I don't know why. I know people love it, and I love, like, everything else of Golden's. But I, maybe my jar's not great. I don't know, but try it a couple times every once in a while when I think, yeah, I'll give that another try. Nope, still don't like it. Thought maybe it was the paper I was using or something. Yeah, not so much. But see how I'm doing this, how I'm smearing this matte medium? Let me bring in a little bit. Uh, right on these watercolors, and it's not... It's not reactivating the watercolor. That blows my mind. It really do. Whew, major hot flash. Holy mackerel. I actually took the time to put on my Ugg boots because usually it's still freezing down here in the basement and now I'm dying. I'm going to take advantage of that straight edge right there. Put that down right there on that edge. Not much contrast, but These are die cuts that Joan sent me over for my birthday. She sent me a ton of die cuts for my birthday. Oh my gosh. Check out my last video that's on YouTube to, to see them. If I started showing you now, it would take up my whole three hours to show you what all she sent me. She's a die cutting machine, I must tell you. You know what? I want to put this on here. And I know I can cut it. But I thought maybe I'd just drop it in somewhere. I might put that right there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This is going to be kind of tricky to glue. I'm going to waste a lot of matte medium, but it's going to be worth it. Oops. Sure, my mom will be calling me soon to check on me. She's been a nervous wreck all week, worried about me and calling to check that I when I got good news at the cardiologist, she was really relieved at that. All right, let's see. 
and am I going to put you? I forgot already. Oh, maybe there. <laughs> Come here, honey. Yeah, what the hell? Right there, I'm thinking it's pretty good. Let me get her glued down. Yes, she Joan does love me. Lynn, you got that right. God bless her. She's a wonderful, generous person, and I'm so glad that she and Paul are coming back to Maryland this summer again. And um, Joan, I know you guys are coming in early, and I think um, Orla told me she's coming in Sunday. And uh, I think there's some others coming in early, too. See how that'll stick down there. That's kind of interesting. I might not have to, not have to, but I might not even add my um, 3D stuff at the end with these. That looks pretty cool. You know, let me make sure everybody, everything's kosher. Got a lot of craziness going on this week. Oh, that's Chelsea's husband, Pete's birthday is today, and I sent him a, a note. He was just sending me a thank you. Little sweetheart. He's a good dad, husband to my girl and a good daddy to my baby. <laughs> this is weird and interesting, too. Do I want to put this on somewhere? I love how this looks with these, like, in, uh, that shining through those circles. Should I put them all up there? Maybe and just go to there. That's kind of odd. You know what? I might just do it. What the heck? Ooh, this is getting really crappy looking here. It's going to mess me up. I usually do the gluing right on my, um, hey, Laurie. Hey, CB. I usually do the gluing right on this paper, um, I was trying to keep it a little bit neater, but I think this is worse. I'll keep going and see how it, I make out. But it's these real open spots that I'm gluing around that's messing me up here, but that's all right. And remember, again, for those of you who are watching this thinking, Ew, what the hell is she doing? It's getting a little crazy. I want it a little crazy because I'm cutting this bad boy up into ATCs. And I want each ATC to have a lot of interest going on. And do they, oh, wait a minute. Do I want to do them on the edge or move it over so I see my picture graphs? I think I'll do that. Oop. And this will be all cut up when it gets done. Sweet Moses, here we go. What I just tell you? Who was going to call me? Hold on. Call and don't poop me on YouTube for taking a call from an 89 year old mother. You can find another channel who wouldn't answer call their mother. From Maryland. Hello. Hey, mom. I'm streaming right now. Everything okay? I'll. All right. I'll call you later. Love you. Bye. <laughs> what she said. She'll ask me sometimes, are you doing that thing on TV that you do today? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm not liking the way this is going. I like parts of it, but overall, this is even disturbing to my eye. <laughs> Let me put that bad boy right down there. In this dark spot will be kind of cool. Now a little bit of this color activated down here. See where that got a little lavender on those circles? Which I don't really mind, but I want to try to pay attention because that was, I think that's that, um, what's the name of that purple? Dioxazine?
Uh, hang on, Patty. Do I send money for the metal class now or pay when we get there? The metal class. Oh, ask Kathy and uh, Gala about that one. They are the metal mamas. They're doing the, the metal foil pewter class stuff. No, no, no. I'm sure they will be happy to tell you. I'm not sh I don't remember. Well, I'm off track. I'll let them speak. Yeah, it won't be long now, right? We're almost into May. May, June, July. Less than all three months. Yeah, no charge for that class. I didn't think there was, but I'm a little behind. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to say anything that was wrong. I feel like I need something happening over here a little bit. Let's try some of these little half moonies. I'm going to put that right there. Because this stuff that holds this, these fibers together goes transparent when you glue it down. So I'll just see these white arcs. I won't see all that netting behind it. Oops. And I'll see pictographs through it. So, and the color through it even. See how clear that goes? And I just get that little bit of texture. Where can I put this one? This one's kind of got a corner built in it. Where are you going to go? I can put you right there. But I really like that little section. I can put you over here. Nope. I'll put it under there. Maybe up here. There's where you're going to go. That's where you're going. Oops. Of course, I want to put that. I'm looking at it. Hang on. This, where are you going to go? Somewhere in there. We'll pretend it goes there. <laughs> no one will ever know. Pineapple and pepperoni. Boy, you take your eye off the chat for a minute. And what the hell are they talking about? Oh, you know what? We discovered this real... Now, speaking of Mexican, not Taco Bell anymore. No, no, no. Um... A Mexican restaurant down in an area called Canton that's not far from our inner harbor um, called Nacho Mama's and I ordered catering for work from there um, this week and oh, best quesadilla I've ever had really good um, Now see, this looks like too much here, but remember, they're all getting chopped up, so. You know what I'm going to do? These are really cool. I think I'm going to cut this one down the middle. I'm just going to drop that in there. I'm going to cut it. I'm not going to touch the other one. You must trust me. I 
done this so many times that I kind of know where the cards are going to end up because of the size of the paper. down a little bit. Come back with some more for the top. Get that real gluey under there because that's on top of that white and that's all raised right there. <clears throat> that might be a problem but that's all right. If I lose one card out of 16 that this will make then I must live with that. I must live with that outcome. Sound like Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> Showing my age. Let me do something. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I'm tearing it open from the side. Great. These are all die cuts from Joan, who is Minky 5 on here. She is a machine when it comes to making die. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That'll be helpful right through this area. All right. Black Beetle do. I'm sure there must be an easier way to glue these on here than the way I'm doing it. Anybody got any ideas? Maybe there isn't a better way. Joan, I can't tell you. You have to look at my YouTube videos for the like for the one I showed of opening the happy mail you sent me. And I think that's the one that's got some comments on it from my viewers saying, What's Joan's Etsy shop? What's Joan's YouTube channel? So I think you're gonna have to succumb to that at some point and please the people. <laughs> That looks a little crazy, got to tell you. I admit it. I do admit it. Something up there. I can use some white. No, I don't want to block any of that. I don't want to block any of that. <laughs> it's kind of weird to shove it in there, isn't it? 
might put that back in here because I don't like that next to that, to be honest. So, we shall decide if that mistake. Well, let's not call it a mistake. Let's call it a choice. Let's call it a choice. So the map medium would be so if you say yes. Yep, it's just a it's basically a glue. I think if you add pigment to this, I think you get paint. Am I right when I say that, guys? Oh, I was telling you about Nacho Mamas. Hey, this one looks like John's machine exploded on your paper. John's machine. Who the hell's John? Oh, Joan. Did you mean Jones? <laughs> but anyway, they had such unusual quesadillas, and I ordered one that had jumbo shrimp and chorizo sausage. With different cheeses and stuff in it the crust even was even it would, took probably an hour to deliver it to us in a box you'd think it would have got steamy and soft it was still crunchy and oh my god the shrimp were perfect oh mama mia that was nice that was really nice 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 thought about going last night dave and i but on a Friday night where this is, it would be a zoo. Plus, it was nice weather and one of the first warmer days for a long time. And uh, I'm sure it would have been a zoo down there. We'll go during the week sometime. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Joan, that doesn't make you a bad person. That's okay. <laughs> Let me go somewhere around here this way. Which way? Where am I going to go? It's kind of boring right up in there. Kind of over those humps. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to go for it. I don't feel like I'm making my best art decision today. Probably still a port low or so in my, my brain fluid. I'm sorry. Can't win every day, right? Where will I put you? Getting busy. I'm not feeling it so much though, but as long as some of that pretty watercolor is poking through here, I think we'll be all right in the end. Um. Need some more white in there, but I think I got too many layers of this now. I think this is going to have to. We're going to have to lighten up on the die cuts now, because it's going to make it where it's already double layered. It's going to make it 
too difficult to adhere and cut. I put another crisscross on there of these. These are really cool ones though. Mama likey. Um, let's see. I feel like I need more white, but where do, do I want to put one of these over top of something? Perhaps. <laughs> I wonder what that would look like. Let's go put that over top of there. It's going to get clear here where this is looking fuzzy white on there. It's going to go clear like this one did and like this did. And you're just going to see the white concentric loops. Straight edge on there. Put it up there. Well, I think you're going to end up going down here, boss. What the hell? Let's try it and see what happens. This is getting too. I'm much better off doing it on here. This doesn't soak in and it just gets blobby on top of these paper pallet wheels. And hello, Kate. That's a new name, too. Welcome. All right, let's just throw this on here somewhere. You see the pieces like this where all the glue is going on the, the piece and not just through it, through all the open holes. It keeps this paper cleaner and it's easier to manage. I guess I can. That's why they're disposable. Just lump this right here and see what happens. Disappearing before my very eyes. See the pictographs under them. And this painted paper, even the gold watercolor you can see under it. Groovy! I got this other one looking at me. So many decisions. Maybe I cut it in half. I'll put half down here somehow. What the hell? And then there was half. I was joking when my mom called about saying, you know, if you're watching on YouTube and you don't like me answering the phone when my 89-year-old mother calls, because I have gotten a bad comment one time about, we're not interested in watching you take other phone calls. We're interested in art, and you need to edit that out. Well, a couple comments there. <laughs> uh, no. I will always answer the phone for my mom. 
end. Clearly, they don't get what would go into trying to edit a three-hour Ustream video. Am I right, Jean? <laughs> Find another channel, please. Please do. Am I crazy in there? Mm -hmm. What the hell? This one's getting kind of crazy as it is, so I'm just going to crazy it on up. And maybe it'll end up being one of my favorites. Or maybe it'll just be crazy. You know? It's only paper, people. Only paper in a few hours. A little bit of glue. If I hose it up, I will survive. I don't want to break out into song. I won't. You're welcome. Got glue boogers all over my fingers. All right. Um, okay. I'm thinking. I'm going to put a cap on this for a minute so it doesn't get too dried out while I'm thinking. I'll put some of this stuff away. A couple little bits here I can use another time. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, people. Let me find it. Let me find it. I just want to use the round one since it's here. Maybe I'll go. Oh, maybe this one. Do this one too. Okay. Now, I have this round pictograph stencil. One of these days I'm going to have a new launch of stencils. Oh my gosh. It's just been so crazy. I what that open space at the bottom to the left of the three circles. Um, down here. Oh yeah, there's more going to happen. More is going to happen. Um, I'm going to dry this a little bit because this is pretty wet. I haven't had the heat gun on it yet, so let me do that. And then I get my fake thinking time in. But I'm picturing... What is this plugged in? I don't know what that is, but I'm going to move my battery from the computer up so I can plug in my heat gun. All right, heat gun! Get a little pallet knife out there. Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you do you see it? Um, a little bit of this. Got enough black. If I do anything else, I'll do white. I like this right in here. So this one's kind of, what the hell did I do with that? Can you guys see that? That's all bent up and snagged up on the top here. We'll not be using that one. Must have been frying something. I'll use this one. Old faithful.
Thanks, Kate. You can envision it cut up into little cards. That will help ease your mind <laughs> on what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Good enough for right this minute. Now, what I'm going to do, maybe I'll use this one first. And I'm going to use some of my new paste. Ha! Oh, look at that stuff. Liquid gold. Let's see, does it say anything on here? Do I need to... Oh, holy crap, how am I going to see that? Silky fine grain thick paste, which is perfect for stencil 3D decoration. Stir well before use. That's what I wanted to see. If you guys watch Z Zandra... Um, her channel is Scraps to Beauty on Ustream and YouTube. She got some of this stuff at um, CHA, what do they call it now? Creativations. But it's not available in the U.S. yet. But my buddy Joan, with my birthday die cuts and cards and stamps, sent me a gold and a silver one of these. It is called Pent Art Stencil Paste. And right now, I think you can only get it in the UK. But I'm going to actually take up. Well, that is slightly better. But I got a little skewer here. Oh, wow, that is thick. I'm shaking it. Shaking it's going to do nothing to this. Wow, that's like, what is that like? I don't know, silky molding paste or buttery molding paste. I mean, it, it would hold a peak for sure. Yum. I'm going to waste a molecule of that. All right, so now... I'm going to turn this upside down so I can get to this end over here a little bit better. i got some blank spots in here. And I was thinking with this, I can make little ribbons of this stuff up and down. I'm only going to be able to do this in the areas that I haven't built up too high. Hello, <laughs> lover. Get that off of there and save that a little bit. Holy mackerel, look at that. Mama like. I'm going to put some of that on some dark spots too. That'll be spectacular. over this little bump de bumps down here, but we're going to give it a try. <laughs> Look at you! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me get something up in here. It's a little dull in through here. There's something shiny in there. Not watching the chat right this minute, guys. So if you got any questions, give me a few secs here.
Oh crap, I put, oh, it didn't mess it up. Yay. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is, uh, and I think, if I remember on Sander's stream, that it dried really, really nice. See, I can't get too close. This is still wet. I was thinking about a streak up here. But I can't get my, don't want to dip my stencil in there. Um, hmm. I'm going to put a little something, something right in there while I'm trying to figure it out. Try to keep that off of that pile without bending my stencil. I need to be an octopus. There we go. Yes, mama like. Mm -hmm. Go this way. All right, let me grab the baby wipe. Crap, that one's in here some. <gasps> Get off of there. I'm gonna clean this off. <coughs> Excuse me. And now, I don't know if you guys can see that, kind of snaps that to life, doesn't it? Maybe I'll do some silver in the pictographs, switch it up a little bit. Ooh, yum, look at that. Yeah, see how thick that is? This is a palette knife. And it's an offset one, so that the blade's bent like that. So you can get, you know, you, your hand doesn't get in the way when you use it. I have some that are regular old flat ones like this. But if you can picture trying to get low enough, you can't really get your hand under it. Where this one, you can get your hand under it and get it drug flat. Does that make sense? Thanks, Joe. Did Patty talk about her last trip to the hospital? Was it food? They assume that it was CB. Um, my GP, when she looked at everything on Thursday, said she is surprised they didn't test me for norovirus because of my symptoms and how severe it was. Um, but yeah, they're assuming that it was some sort of, cause I didn't have a fever. I, I wasn't nauseous from this started at 7 PM Saturday. I wasn't nauseous until midnight Sunday when the projectile vomiting kicked in. And, um, Wonder if they ship in Europe. What's the brand? I didn't see what you were at. Is there a stencil paste only in UK for now? Oh, the stencil paste. It's called Pent Art. P E N T A R T. There you go. And Pent Art makes other stuff that kind of looks like this in the jar, from what I've seen when I was searching it out on Google. But it's the specific stencil paste that you're you want if you want this stuff. Um, do this. 
how is this going to work? Pray tell. Here's kind of a white spot. This is kind of big though. I might need to cut one of these up. Let's go over this. How about that? Let's put just that little schmutz right there. Let's see what we get. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to now because I got some on there. So it'll be a half a one, but that's okay. Oh. Yummy you. Trying to get, get the light just right so you can see the shine. Oh, there's some photographs I threw in that corner. And let's see, I want to throw something really cool but I don't want to mm -mm -mm. okay there's none of this paste I'm trying to find a blank spot where there's no wet paste like these gold streaks so I'm thinking over in here I'm going to do something where's my anchor on there we go let's do those right there I like this anchor. <coughs> All right, don't want to mess that up. Don't be too over rambunctious. And hose yourself up. Be patient. Not my strong suit. At all. Oh, where are you going to go? I'd like to get some of those silver ones in here. But I got wet, wet, and my stencil's too big. I think I'm going to stop while I'm ahead for now. And... Let that dry a little bit. And, oh, you know what I might do? I think I'll use... Joan sent me a couple stencils, too. And look at this one. <laughs> I think this one's going to have some paste through it. Hey, wait a minute. CB, I just saw that. I believe you've seen me with my teeth in. Didn't I do that last summer? I didn't. Are you guys talking about me? <laughs> yeah, I was in the zone if you're talking about me. I have never been accused of being all there, so pretty sure you might be talking about me. I'm not sure. I've got a lot of mileage out of that one set of Billy Bob teeth. She played Isle Shark and Dick Bl Oh! <laughs> you people are talking out of school. Oh, my God. Thanks for joining, Fancy. Aren't they striking, CB? Yeah, my mother loves those. My brother has a pair, too. And my brother is a very handsome guy. And he puts them in. He looks like, mm, not good. Oh, it's not good. She said, take those damn things out of your heads. <laughs> Bless her heart. I'm going to do a little something, something in here. This is really cool. I'm not going to like this. Try this side here. Right. Uh, I'm going against my better judgment, and I'm going to go for it anyway. 
Here the helmet got spot on. I don't think it matters. They're all pretty cool. Let's just go here. And this one's smaller, so I think I can get a little. Hey, look at that little cluster. Hello. I can use this here too. Get a little, maybe some of these bigger blobs up here somehow. How do I do that? Just a little pop here and there. Maybe on this. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. All right. Stop while you're ahead. It's a cool stencil. All right, I'm going to um, I'm going to use this PBO Four Artist marker. This one's actually oil, and it's a brilliant gloss silver. And I'm telling you, it is brilliant gloss. <laughs> Lynn, actually, Joan made a sheet, uh, made an apron that had for herself when she came over last year. They turned around and looked and she, or was it Paul's shirt that said Hello Lover on it? Ah! Yeah, that would be... Um, that, yeah, maybe I could sell those on my Etsy shop. I mean, with my Billy Bob's in. Saying, hello, lover. Oh, yeah. Can't make that up. All right. I'm just going to put a little, some background pops. But can you see how shiny that is? Here we go. It's really shiny. I don't know if you can see that reflection or not. But let's see. Where am I going to? Whew, but it smells. Mm. She is a little strong. Let's put a couple little blobs right in here. Just a little something here and there. With, ooh, oh, too much of a blob. All right, let's make that creatively a circle. I want that too thick because that takes a long time for this stuff to dry. What happened here? Don't fail me now. See how reflective they are when they hit the light? They almost look like chrome. This is kind of a little bit of a dead area up here. Let's get a little flash in there. Let's put one right in the middle of that. Put a couple off the edge there. This is good to fill in some little holes that are just, you know, this is getting pretty busy. And, uh, oops. <coughs> pretty busy. But sometimes I like to just throw one in here every once in a while and, and, uh, let it be what it is. This color down here was kind of gray and bland when it dried, so I'm going to try to zhuzh that up a little bit. Put 
some off the top of this little edge right here. Just a little boom, boom, boom across there. I gotta cut that edge of that paper off. Uh, let's see. Remember, these are all getting cut up. This isn't one composition. All right, back away from that for now. Um, Ange, were you asking what this is? I just saw somebody. It's a PBO four marker art four artist marker, and it's an oil pen in brilliant gloss silver. It's got that same nib on it that my Molotovs have. That I make that. Um, you know, I'm going to make those marks. Still feels a little dark at places. That's all right. I'm going to do the fake heat gun so I can think. Ah. It's 15 millimeters, Sandra. Patty. There is enough on there, you think? You think that, but then when you cut them all up, sometimes not so much. You gotta really go overboard. Luckily, that's one of my specialties. Oh, you're welcome, Sandra. Did you sign up for Finn's classes? Sandra, um, I, uh, I still got to call and ask her about what they are. I looked on the website the other day before I snuffed it, and uh, there still wasn't information out there. But I think I would like to take one of the rust, um, what is that, that rust medium? No, I don't think they're post. When I looked, after I talked to you, I came home and I looked at it on her site, and there still wasn't anything there. See how that silver flashes through there from that marker? It's really shiny. I'm hoping I get this dry enough that I can cut it up before I sign off. What time is it? 3.47. Oh, we're still good for a while. <laughs> A lot of layers on some of this. You gotta get the mermaid. You talking to you talking to me? You gotta get the mermaid. What mermaid are you talking about? I did get that big mermaid with the mosaic one. Oh, maybe while this dries, I'll go snatch it off the wall and show you guys. Maybe that's what I'll do. Hang on, let me run upstairs and grab that. Grab the mermaid and grab the watercolor I just got, and I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourself.
gosh. On top of everything else, I think my I got my knee all jacked up somehow. It might just be getting time. It's been I've had bad knees for years, but now it feels like there's something stabbing me in the inside of the lower part of my right knee. Hi. So, Zandra, brace yourself. Let me pull out on my camera. She's too big to fit in here. But this is what I bought at the King Queen's Inc. approximately two hours before I snuffed it. Mosaic Mermaid. I want you to see how cool this is. See the gems in her hair? And the texture in her hair? There's your little face. Whoops. And see how her, her bra is mosaic. And that has like a gray grout in it. And then you see her hair flow down over her hand in the floating in the back. And then look at her, look at her belly button. Uh, makes me want to put one in mine. And then this real pale teal. Our bedroom is painted a darker teal color. I think this would really pop on there. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. But anyway, see this different curves of the glass bottles? They're just bottles busted up in there. So you can see. I don't know if you can see the curves or not. But then check out her tail. With the gems and the silver and the texture. <laughs> if anybody would steal it, I would allow, allow Zandra to steal it and not blame her because I know she can't help herself. She has a problem. But this is, I don't know what this is, some kind of molding paste, I guess, but it's silvery. Um, it's really, I'm trying to get a really close shot, but I love this little squiggly bit of rhinestones on there. Isn't that cool? But it's she's 38 inches long. So I can't get her all in here. But I love her. I love her starfish pearl and gem little headdress. I just saw her and I thought, oh my goodness. So there you go. There's my mermaid. Put her back upstairs and in her rightful place. And um I'll show you these little sets of watercolors I got. Set this on the side and let this dry a little bit. Um, let me grab a piece of watercolor paper. It's on wood. It's all wood, and then she's got it mounted with a wire hanger on the back. It's on a wood uh, silhouette. Yeah, sea glass would really, oh my gosh, that would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Sea glass on her tail. All right, so, um, you know, I've been getting a few things lately from the Mary Artist, M-E-R-R-I artist.com. Her prices like these, a fine tech gold palette. I got these from her a couple months ago. I've seen them on Amazon for like 48, 44, 36. I got them from her for 18 bucks. For exactly the same things. And I also got what else did I get from her? I think that's where I got these, Andra. And these are the ones you showed on, um, yeah, that place, that uh, Twitter the other day. And these were, I think, 27 there. And these are fine tech also, and these are metallics. And th are these the ones, Andrew, you said you weren't wild about the pigments? I'm going to play with these a minute. Um. I'm going to juice them up a little bit. 
Oops. Do a little swatcheroo here. Where is my pencil? My pencil, my brush. Black has no shimmer. Um, is there such a thing as black watercolor paper? That's one thing I was hoping to go to Dick Blick, because when you go to a store, especially the mothership in Chicago, they have a room with all these big flat cabinets with the flat drawers in them. And um, they have tons of all this crazy mulberry paper and all those uh, just really odd different kinds of papers, um, Japanese papers and you name it. And I was wondering if I could, if anybody had black watercolor paper, it would be in there. Okay, let's just, while this is drying, let's go over here and see what this looks like on white. And I had that black printer paper. That kind of breaks up to like a gray underneath of it. The fine text, they're a good quality paint. They're made in German. They're German. And a lot of times I've noticed with watercolors, with anything that's got metallic in it, you have to, it has to dry. Not that I have ever heard of Patty. Um, oh, the black paper. See what these dry down to. This is a pretty color. There's a lot of shimmer in this one, but it's more sheer than I expected it to be. But the payoff may be the amount of shimmer that's in there. Yeah, I'm going to try them on um, it just looks like a silver. You know what I want to get? I want to get some Holbein. I saw it on a YouTube video. Some Holbein Brilliant Gold Gouache to use for little blobs on my stuff. Um, since it's more opaque and wow, that one's cool. Um, and it'll stand up to something like, um, you know, me throwing it in one of these collages or whatever. All right, here goes the black. Maybe this is just a regular black because you don't find black too much. I don't know. This is an odd looking color. It looks like something that was there. I didn't even look on the bottom to see if there was a coat. That Fine Tech was partners with another company, a partner company is doing a run of these. And now Fine Tech has a sticker on theirs that states the original. Oh, I'll be darned. Well, maybe these aren't the original because they the palette's completely different with this black, um, these black trays. This looks like a that Daniel Smith, what's it called? Scarab something? Oh, it is. It's got like a green-red thing happening there. That's unusual. Wow. I don't think these are going to show enough yet to see what they look like, really. And I don't want to tilt them and let them run, but you can see where they're kind of pigment kind of 
granulates when you add water to the bottom, but it's pretty solid at the top before I did that. That green one was the most shimmery and the silver. And the black, yeah, I don't, I don't can't detect any shimmer in there unless you see it when it's dry. And this one broke into like an orangey red underneath of it. Here we different. Arches makes black watercolor. I could have swore I, I did see some at some point. Um, of course, this one isn't going to show on this paper unless it's got some kind of a, um, what's that called? Uh, ah, it's right on the tip of my tongue. When it, it, did, it is. It's got a little bit of red in it. Um, not iridescent, um, interference. Well, the twinks are different, um, and they're some of my favorites because you get that two-tone look to all of them. Um, which I love. Wow, that's got a lot of shimmer in it. That looks like it's going to break into a darker color too. Wow, it, up close you can really see the shimmer just moving all over, dancing in the puddle. There you go, see what it's doing? Really cool. Oh, you ordered the black paper by accident. Like the copper. Wow, that's got a lot of shimmer dancing in it too. This one looks pretty. I can see a darker pigment in this. Wow, that's a beautiful color. Man, that's pretty. That looks too orange on the screen. That's not what that looks like in person. This, it's more red. Um, like a russet kind of a color maybe. Very shimmery. This one has more of a plum, plumminess to it. Hey, hey Jamie. I'll go back and restart. Let me unglue all this stuff on my collage sitting over here drying. I wouldn't do that for anybody but you, Jamie. They're pretty cool. I'm let those dry. Let's sit these over here. And then I finally got the, I don't know why, because I have this set of the Fine Techs. And I know they're awesome. I love them. But these were like 12 or $13, I think. And then I went the hell. I might as well get these too. Because that's what I do. These are the Gonzai Tambi Gold Set, the starry colors, they call them. Now, Xander, was it the ones like this that you got that was the pearl essence that you really liked? Right? Probably shouldn't do that to those because it's in paper. That's all right throw them in something if I need to, if I disintegrate my box. But then I also got these. They all look black. And they all swatch with kind of black in them. And I don't know why, but I thought maybe, hey, that's different. I should have those. They're called Boku 
Undo Isumi Watercolors from Japan. That's a mouthful. Focus. There we go. And I think these came from the Mary Artist as well. And they weren't very much money. Boo. Focus. Either there or Amazon. Or don't focus. Well, it's all in Japanese anyway, so it's not like I can read it. Um, a little pokey. Pokey, pokey tool. All right. So these let's see. There's a cheat sheet in here, but which way does that go? Which I can't really tell. I think that goes this way. All right, let me let these sit here and get a little juicy. Let's go back to these gold ones. Put a row of those in. This one's called Blue Gold. I love the way when you use metallic watercolors, how your water looks with all that pigment. Oh, you've been lurking, have you, Eileen? This one's red gold. Now, I can see why this would be called red gold, but I don't quite get the blue gold naming, but what the hell do I know? This one's yellow gold. See a lot of pigment when you touch that, getting going crazy in there. It's kind of some kind of sheer. The uh, fine tech, I think, are more pigmented. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Thanks for joining us. I know it's getting late for you guys across the pond. Champagne gold. This one I really like. This color. Kind of a combination. Silver and gold. And this one's called light gold. And white gold, which of course isn't going to show up on here, but I bet it'll leave some shimmer because this is really, looks like it's got some silvery pigment in it, pearl or something. Yeah, I can actually see it on there. All right, so that's that one. Let's put you back there. That'd be lovely. And let's go back to you. I think I saw Gina Aaron's uh, using some of these out at one time, but of course I don't know what color this is. It's kind of a plummy, it looks like. like a dark, whiny, burgundy. Whoa, hello baby. Wow. And you gotta bleed that out to see any kind of color in there. There we go. 
But I thought the reason I got these was I've been watching some YouTubes of people doing the galaxies in watercolor. Patty, will you close up the white gold, please? Close up on the white gold. I will. Hang on one sec. Let me get this down here. Um, I thought these would be um, cool for um, doing those galaxies. So here's the white gold. It's I can't really tilt it yet. It's kind of wet, but it's very shimmery. Very, very shimmery. This one's kind of baby poop green. I'm not wild about that one at all. Well, actually, it looks like it's supposed to be like a burnt umbery, and the green one looks like it's the next one, but... Maybe these won't make a very good galaxy. <laughs> oh, shit. I got it in the other one. Oop, and now I said shit. Oh, and now I said it twice. Ah! Hey, Rihanna. Oh, I have to check that out. Um, do you have a recommendation on a brush that holds a lot of water and has a good point? Um... This one was recommended by Lindsay, the frugal crafter, and this is a mimic creative mark, and I think it's uh, imitation squirrel, and that's a reasonable price and, and does pretty good. I like that silver, what is it called, silver black velvet. They seem to do pretty good, but I mean, I don't know, I don't know a lot about what I'm doing. I know the real sable ones are the ones that you know, woohoo, watercolors, you should use those, but. Hello. I am not going to spend two or three. Oh, trust me, that says silver black label. Oh, and they come to a really nice point. And they're not a, a bad price, but I'm not going to spend two or three hundred dollars on a watercolor brush when you see what I do. I just kind of slap it around. Oh. Um. Wow, these are dark. I don't even think these swatches are going to show. That's a dark. These all have to be, I'm sure they're based in black. And um, have some colored pigments. This one's supposed to be blue. I'm just going to put that little bit on there. And then add some water. Maybe you can get an idea of it. Wow, even that is really dark. And this one's a purple. I didn't think I'd be getting into doing this. Got off my track here with my collage. Focus. Got the focus of a gnat. Yeah, I did this earlier, Rihanna. I'm just set it aside and let it dry. I'm going to cut that up, but I wanted to do another watercolor collage. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to pick up a little tiny bit of this paint here. Go back with water for the rest of it and let's see what it does. That's a brown. All right. Get these out of my way. Mints. If you hear me talk with my mouth full, I am eating a mint. I had one girl on YouTube go back and forth about three or four messages telling me it was very annoying to listen to me snap gum the whole time I was doing my Ustream. stream. I was like, I don't chew gum. I haven't chewed gum in years. I wasn't chewing gum. I know what I heard, and I know you heard chewing gum, and I thought it was not very professional. It's like I didn't chew any gum. I don't know what you're hearing. Oh my god. I said, okay, I'm done. So you can find another channel if you want to think there's a problem. I don't know what else to tell you. These are really cool. It must have been different ones that you said weren't very pigmented. 
um, Sandra of the fine tech. I don't know which set it was that you said that about. All right, let me try to see if I can get these to show right in the light so you can see how shimmery they are. So when they're really concentrated, but see where I added the water, how it granulated and broke up, which is kind of cool. Put two paints in one. Kind of cool. That's the silver. You can see it's got a little bit of blue in it. And the black. You're right, Xander. I don't see any shimmer in the black. That one's kind of cool. <coughs> <coughs> this one. <coughs> now I'm going to choke on the mint. <coughs> see how that one... Kind of like dichroic glass. It's pretty cool. And then there's the white one. Golds and the copper. This one right here is my favorite, I think. Kind of russet, and this one's kind of plum. And then next are the Kuretake. Gonzai Tombi Starry Night set. They're all right. There's the white, uh, Jamie. Oh, no, sorry. There's the, um, this one's light gold. This one's white. A lot of shimmer in it. And then these, whoo. see a little bit of blue purple and brown in those last three this one's a really dark green oh crap didn't mean to do that anyway I'm gonna sit this aside and let this dry a little bit more and we'll look at it again let's go back to the business at hand so hi Cheryl bye Cheryl Hi, Patty. First time watching on Ustream. Yay! Hi, Gwen. Gwen Spins. Welcome. Glad you're here. Right, Jean. That's why I said when it dries, I'll, it'll be more, uh, a little more shimmery. Where the hell's my mouse? Hello. Oh, I think I got so much, <laughs> so many glue boogers on my fingers that my mouse tracker pad isn't working on my mat. There we go. Holy moly. Hey, Kimberly. Gwen, if you have any questions for me, put them in all caps for me so I kind of jumps out on the chat. Um, and links are open, girls, if you want to share any links for anything. Um, Lordy. So here's what I was doing earlier. Most of this is drying up now. I did this watercolor background last stream and at the end, just playing with Daniel Smith colors. And so now I'm adding way too many collage elements on purpose with no focal point because I'm going to cut this up into ATCs. Hello, Anxiety. Triple A, Anxiety Art Adventures. Um, so, that's my thought, is what I'm going to do. Is cut this bad boy up into ATCs. That's why I overdid it. 
purposely. Um, but what else do I need? I feel like I need more. Let me, <clears throat> while I'm thinking, let me have a white pen. And just add a little bit of something, something here and there. Just add a little bit of interest. Let me bring in a little bit. This is a Uniball Sigma white gel pen. They're pretty opaque. Just putting little marks in the black. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doodling. and something wet or sticky at least so when these get cut up it's going to look a whole lot better than it does right now at least that's my plan <laughs> it's always my plan I got a pack for Chicago I got to fly to Chicago tomorrow 5 o'clock for work we come back Wednesday, and then Thursday night we're having a party at the house for one of my co-workers that's leaving the company and moving to Europe. So I just added a little bit of something-something on the black dots. I don't think I'm going to do anything to these because they're kind of sketchy. I don't know what I'd put in there. Um... I wonder if I could outline in here with white, if that would add anything. Let me make it kind of scratchy. Oh, that's interesting, Virginia, that the fine tech does show the two different manufacturers. Let me see if this is dry enough. I can flip it over now. For less, well, this says nothing. Made in Germany. But this box has no other labeling on it, just the fine tech pearlescent colors on the front. <clears throat> I feel like there's something missing up here. I don't know what I'm going to do to that. Hmm. I wonder. Teeny, teeny, tiny dots around this. Hmm. 
now when I'm doing this so close, I'm missing the chat. Now, metal. What did you see? Metal. You mean the tins that they're in, uh, Virginia? Patty says it's the Mary Artist website. Oh, did I miss one? Hey, Billy. Yeah, if anybody has a question, I'll try to look at this for a minute. What am I making you wait for? I'm missing the whole conversation. <laughs> I'm doing that real fine line stuff. I got my got my head down. I'm not looking at the chat. I'm going to embrace the lag and wait to see if another question pops up before I look down again. You have checked the white balance on your camera. Um, Gray, I don't even know how to do that on this webcam. There's no adjustment anywhere that I'm aware of. Let me look in these advanced settings. Brightness, contrast. Oh, white balance. There it is. Where should it be? It's at about 35. That's how I was feeling. I feel much better. Oh. Much better, thank you. What should the white balance be at? Let me move it up. See what happens. No, it's not letting me move it up. It's grayed out. Oh, auto. Let me get rid of auto. Now I can move it. That moved it to 50. Did you see anything different? Oh, I see it. You know what? This may be the answer to all my turquoises showing up royal blue. Oh, my goodness. That looks, looks much more real. Thank you. Good Lord. I know enough to be dangerous about what the hell I'm doing, but that, I think, really helped the true colors. Can you guys see a difference? Yeah, you can really see there where I just changed the color. Thank you so much, Gray. How a flipping you, Luya. Jeez. You know how my husband put all new lights in the basement for me, natural daylight lights. Yes, yes, yes. I can tell a difference already about how much greener this looks, how much more turquoise this looks down here. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, the answer, Patty, when you don't have any natural light, you need to set the white balance. What number? I mean, I set it at 50%, Jean, and that made a big difference. It was at about 35. And it was set on auto. Um, holy mackerel, that's so much better. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ay, ay, ay. All right, looking down again. If I hear the pups going crazy, they might hear their dad back from golf. They went over to the Eastern Shore to play today. They have a golf league. Yep, they must be home. Babe's crying at the back door. It depends. Patty may even have to change with the time of day. Oh, okay. Well, it's very... I'm in the basement. There's very small windows. This looks really close to what I'm looking at now, what you guys are seeing on camera. You have no idea how much that that uh, helps me out.
trying to put a little something in there. See how that just that little bit brightens that up when you're looking at it pretty close. Oh my gosh, no kidding, Bunny. That was such a thorn in my side for a year. Maybe longer. Good God. Now. Well, here goes Babe. Mojo's not barking yet. That adds a little something something. And I don't want to have to do that to all these. I'll be here all day. I wonder if I can just draw a line on there. I wonder why my ink's not working. Tell Patty to turn the doorknob. Sometimes I get lost when I turn my eyes off of chat. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. Glad I saw that white thing, though. Good lord. It looks so funny now to see what I'm looking at here is what I'm seeing on the screen. Wow. What are you yapping about, baby girl? Is your daddy home? Oh, that's Mojo. Hey, Mo. What's Sissy barking at? What's Sissy barking at? She going crazy? Let's try, see if I can just put a white line down the middle of this black. A little more interest. And that's quicker. Oh, I like that. There's that little blind through there. Ignore see me patty a joke from yesterday. Oh, well, ignoring CB, that's kind of hard to do. <laughs> right, I'm going to continue doing this stripe. I like that. Of course, I'm not very <coughs> steady-handed, so... What's the problem, little girl? Is that your daddy out there? We'll know in a minute. He's got a bunch of his buddies with him. Now off to unload their clubs. They usually meet here and leave their cars here. And Dave will drive. That really adds a little something something. Hmm. Eileen started it. Well, that I can buy into two C uh, CB. Yep, see that? I like that. Just that little white line. It's so much more interesting than that one with nothing. So maybe what I'll do, I'll do this one in a line. Yapper, my little yapper. Jeez, nuts about her dad. I know. I'm going to do dash lines around this one a little bit, something different. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> Oop. 
bringing off the paper there. Poor Mojo is trying to tell you something. That that's actually Babe. Mojo's down here, but he's quiet as a mouse. Babe, I'm pretty sure Dave and the guys are probably pulling up from golf outside, and haven't I haven't heard the garage door go up yet. So he probably pulled in the back driveway, and let them get their golf clubs out of their car, out of Dave's car, and load them into theirs so they don't have to hump them around the back. And then he'll pull around the side and come in the driveway. Then she'll really go batshit crazy when she sees him or knows he's in the garage. I'm guessing that's what's going on. That's the only time she gets a little too cray-cray. When her daddy come home. Yeah, they're taking too long. I, I'm just assuming they're there because they're barking. I didn't hear them. I'm going to go ahead and put these lines all over all of these because I think that looks pretty cool. And it's quicker than the dots. Some of them more sketchy look. And then I got a couple with the dots that'll just kind of blend in. Oh. Babe, that's not going to make him go faster, honey. I hope he's at least out there, because if not, she'll be doing this until he gets home now. <laughs> they went about a, I don't know, an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes or so away. And they were going to stop on the water at this place called Annie's and get some uh, dinner. I'd be surprised if he's home yet, actually. Hopefully he brought me some cream of crab soup. Really good stuff on the water over there. Really fresh. Well, they won't get local crab yet, but they make this cream of crab that is awesome. I like that a lot better now with all that detail in those little lines for all that black kind of broke it up. Yeah. Bigger fan now. Now up here, where's a black pen? Let's do something with these up here. Try some dots. Babe. Honestly. Line on. You guys pressuring Ange to stream after me? <laughs> I won't stay on too much longer after Dave gets home. I gotta. I've still got stuff to do. I got laundry and pack, and <clears throat> not too much laundry though. I did some of that this morning. They're most likely they're out there just talking. And she can, her radar-like ears. Oop, that's kind of a crooked line. Babe. All right. What else do I want to do? else can I do? Maybe pop a few white blocks in there somewhere. Yeah, I'll cut these puppies up before we finish today. And if I decide it needs some of that 3D stuff, I'll just do that later.
I just want to go in here and add a little, little something here and there. Something, something, something. Edge, maybe a little one right here. Babe, lighten up. You're going to drive mommy to drink. You don't want to do that, do you? You don't want to be responsible for that. Oh, <laughs> that's about that make sense? No, but now I'm committed. Come here, little knucklehead. Oh, you're not knucklehead. You're my mojo. You're the good boy. She's a crazy one. She's a crazy one over there. Hmm? Why should I doubt mommy? Hmm? You're a handsome thing. Yes, you are a handsome thing. Let's see. <laughs> me, oh, look, I got a blob. Got away from me there and dropped. That's all right. Babe? Mm -mm -mm. This one's leaking a little bit. It dropped on my finger. All right. See, I'm picturing like if a card gets cut like right there, is that enough interest on there? Maybe I need to sling some something. Hang on, let me let me look at my little drawer of tricks. Listen at her. Have mercy, child. Do you hear sissy? Do you hear your sissy up there? How are you so good and she's so sissy? She's just sissy. Huh? Uh, where's my, oh, here we go. Maybe I'll throw some of this around. This dries pretty fast. This is a gold ink by Viva. It's kind of in German. But this is real. 11 o'clock where we need to work out what that is in Wales. 11 o'clock Eastern. Uh, I think you guys are, what, five hours ahead now? Hang on, let me look out the back basement door and see if I can see that in in that back driveway. Hold on. Mojo, is your daddy home? I hear all the commotion. Is clear, but they both peed. Maybe that was the emergency. <sighs> Lord. Okay. So I was about to sling some of this ink. And let's see what happens. Oh, whoops.
this dries with a really nice metallic finish. I'm gonna hit that with the heat gun, I hope anyway. Hopefully I shook it enough. Heat gun! After this, I think I'm gonna cut them up. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Sometimes at work, I have to schedule meetings with uh, different offices that we have. We have offices all over the world. And I found this really cool website that is helpful um, when I need to have somebody in Maryland, somebody in California, somebody in Hong Kong, somebody in London, India. Australia and you log all those cities in and it tells you how the times align and so you can pick the most least offensive time for the majority but usually somebody gets screwed <laughs> somebody is up at two o'clock at a meeting and there's when you get that many people involved you can't really avoid it I, this color is so much better. I am stunned. I wish I could remember what I was trying to show you guys that wasn't coming up the right color. Alright, I'm going to let this sit for a minute. I think it was some of these last cards that I did, actually. Here's the set of the watercolor ones I made last time. Some of these are gone. I sent them with orders already. Um, but now, see, that's so much truer to color. And see, that's that 3D stuff I put on there. See the black and gold and white lines? That's that Tulip 3D paint. See, that's the silver marker. Um, and here, this real pretty, let's see what that looks like. That's much closer, but this is still greener than it shows. So I wonder if I still have to adjust that. Let me see. Let me see what happens if I go to like 55. I don't know. That's still not just right. Ooh, that's too much. Well, that's about the closest. It's still greener than it looks, but that looks way better than it did. Because see, when you take that craziness and you cut it up, it's not so bad. What's that too much? That's, these, this is still greener. Any suggestions for fixing that green to make it show what it's really supposed to be showing? Just kind of testing the color for my own sanity now. That's just a little sliver off the end that was left over. Hmm. Well. Huh. Well, it's way better, that's for sure. Oh, watch my bump your little noggin, honey. Be careful. Don't go bump on your noggin. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That's crazy, Leanne, that it's an hour difference across the street. I guess the line's got to go somewhere, but seems a little crazy. So, these are almost dry. Some of these spots, see on the circle, they're still a little bit wet. And I can always add that freebie stuff after I cut them up. Thanks, Nina. I'm anxious to cut these up and see how they do look. Might give a little, little bit of hard time to my cutter because some of this is pretty thick. Now this, um, the stencil paste, Joan, see how shimmery the, the gold is? But then the silver, here's a silver. Well, there you go. It's shimmery there. Maybe it was the, the light, angle of the light. Didn't seem as shimmery, but now I can. It's a little bit more, and it's on a light background too, so that maybe that's not a good example. Here's some over here that's on the darker stuff. That's the stencil paste, the anchor, this pictograph's going down here. But I like with the, the background being the watercolor, I think better than the acrylic um, because you get that where it blends together and uh, that watery look in the background. I don't like this though because I'm not wild about, I like the color lunar blue, but I, it's not bright enough to keep up with the rest of this, so. There's a couple wet ones. Hang on. All right, five o'clock. Five o'clock. We're gonna start two fifteen. So I got fifteen twenty minutes left. Plenty of time to cut these bad boys up. You're going. So artist trading cards are two and a half by three and a half. And I'm going to start up here at the top. And I'm going to go three and a half down. Now I'm going to lose a piece of this, either here or here, or even somewhere in the middle. I'm not too upset about losing that. I don't want to lose these pictographs over here. So let's do it from this side and go two and a half this way. And see, that one's it's kind of boring. It doesn't have, I'm going to have to zhuzh that one up. So you think you have enough, and you really don't. Let me just zap these while I'm, while I'm going here. So now what do I want to lose? I'll lose that. All right. They're out of order, obviously, but. So three and a half 
this way. Let's see what we got. Two minutes there. Oops, what the hell would I do there? I have no idea what happened there. There we go. See, there's, it's just not enough on there. I, I'm going to need to do the 3D stuff. I'm not happy with that. Let's do this way. Keep this edge. Yeah, these are definitely going to need some um, I'm looking to see what I'm going to lose when I cut it off. Now, this one is more than three and a half, but not enough to make another row. So now I want to decide, do I want to lose this edge or do I want to lose the bottom edge? I don't really want to lose either one. Hmm. Let's see. How wide is this? Four and a half. I think I'm going to lose it from the side. Three and a half. So here's the little bookmark sliver. Look at this primary element in there. You can't hate that, people. See, Lynn, thanks for joining. Uh, all right, where are we here? I do like this side. Um. Whoa, something just fell. Oh, Gala, that was one of your rocks from my Zen thing that just, I wiggled the desk and fell off the top of the stack. Let's take it off of this side. All right. So let me get a clean piece of paper so you can see what's going on here. For my next trick, there we go. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, first, I'm going to take my black Molotow 15 millimeter nib, and this one I think is the one that's got the groove in it already from using it so much but I like to put a border on these and it's easier to do before I get the 3d stuff on there see you can see a little piece of that paper and the paste by my thumb there the silver paste and uh, the gold paste at the top but I'm gonna outline these a little border of black around each one and I think that helps it out right but I'm gonna go in I like this one
got a lot of the pigment in it. Show when the um there it is down in here. Thanks, Sandra. See ya. When I do this border after I throw the 3D stuff on there, it's really bumpy because it's, especially if I, if I cut them and then add the 3D stuff and then add the border, it's really pain because it's so much hanging off the edge of that 3D stuff that it's really lumpy and bumpy. Sometimes my marker jumps and I scritch across the card. I call that texture. But this is a quick way to get a nice uh, straight border on these things. Let's see what that looks like for color. A lot closer than it used to look, I can tell you that. that silver see how bright that stuff is I'm going to get a couple more of those um, in different nib sizes for different things I am so This color is really pretty. What's that look like? That's a lot closer. It's a teeny bit more green here. It's like a true turquoise, but it's closer. Closer, closer to reality. Don't anybody tell Dave about my light bulbs. <laughs> he replaced all these fluorescent things with natural daylight bulbs. God bless him. One's a kind of a mishmash of all kind of stuff in there. But that I think that's interesting when you you know you don't pay any attention to your any kind of a focal point. You just keep piling stuff on there. A lot of them look really cool. Um, but I'm not wild about that. That looks too drab to me up there, where that um, paint is just a. Not to my eye, what I was hoping, but can't win them all, people. All right. Get them all. I think so. Okay, but I'm sure that helps too. The bulbs, I mean. Yeah, I, it can't hurt, I figure, Jean. What's the worst that can happen? I always say I'm going to turn these around so that if I um, get a little crazy with the slinging the 3D stuff, I won't get it in my new watercolors. So I'm just going to lay these down. It doesn't matter which way they're going. Just going to spread them out on here, not touching. I got to make more of those painted tissue papers because I love that, like that streak of this stuff on the side here. I think that adds a lot of color and a lot of interest when you tear those painted tissue papers up and collage them in there. And see, just peeking out of the holes in the side here. That's a piece of that too. All 
right, so what do I have? Four by four, 16 of these bad boys. And then the, this is my excess, the strip off the bottom and the four strips off of each row. That's kind of nothing for this one, but the other ones are kind of cute. Cutesy. Okay, now I'm going to take my, what the hell was that? Um, hmm, where do I put that stuff? Three D pastes. Oh, here they are in the three D paste drawer. Huh, imagine that. I'm just going to use black and white. And these are the tulip slick slick paints you get at Michaels for four bucks a bottle, and it makes three D stuff. All right, let me pull out a little bit. Out of frame, but I can't fit it all in there so much. Okay. All right. So I'm going to shake this down so I get it down in the nozzle. Thanks, Eileen and Jean. Yeah, 140 Strathmar, 11 by 15. Yeah, I do save the strips. I put them in. I usually use this thank you card when people order off my Etsy shop. I put a little thing in there, and then sometimes I'll throw some of these in here if I have them. Um, so I'm going to do a little test to make sure the paint's down on the tip. I hate it when it burps and it blows out bubbles that don't give me a clean streak, but sometimes that happens. But what I try to do is I start off the page, not on the card, um, so that if it does do that, I got a chance of getting it flowing right before I get on there. And then I'm just going to squeeze and start throwing it on there. Wherever it goes, it goes. And I just try to, oh shit. Oop, I said shit again. How many times is that? Hmm. I have to put a quarter in the jar every time I say it. Oops, hanging my nose down too low there. And that will just add, let me zoom in once at least. See, Rihanna, thanks for stopping by. Um, and then I'm just going to let these dry overnight because they have to kind of cure. But I try to make sure each card has a couple stripes on it go in different directions. Oh, crap, I hit it again. I think my depth perception's off today. This one only has one through here, so let's do one more of that through there. And a little bit through there. Back away from the black. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the white. And this will give it just a little more pizzazz and texture. And some of them overlap, some of them don't. I don't really care. make squiggly lines and then I kind of go back and eyeball it to see what needs a little something something All right, we're going to call that good enough. We know if these are sold in the UK, we don't have Michaels. I don't I don't know if they are or not, Gwen. Joan, do you know? Joan, Minky5 is also in the UK, and so is Dorothy Gibbs is in the UK. Um, they may, they may know, but it's not, a, it's a tulip prod, product. Oh, I bet maybe they are on Amazon UK. What's that other place called? That's Crafty. Does that sound like a right place? I think they're the ones that carry my stencils, actually. Hopefully, at some point when Sanity takes over again, I will get... Um, 
uh, back to work on my new stencils. So I haven't had done one, a launch for months and months. I feel bad, but I just, I, I, I like to say I can't do it. I will do it when I can. I'm going to try to grab one of these. Try to show you what these lines did. I think I am going to screw up with my... Ah. Let's try this. Well, of course, it's going to be the one in the middle. Let's try one on the ends. Don't be stupid, Dad. You'll see that. I don't know if you can tell. It's There you go. See that it's 3D. And it's very random and just another layer that gives it a little more pizzazz, we'll call it. All right, so I'm going to finish up there. I'm getting kind of tired. Um, yeah, hopefully, I, I bet you anything Amazon has them. But I'll let these dry, and then when I come back, I'm going to probably have to cut with scissors where these kind of connected. You know, the line was a good line, and they'll just pick up and stick together. I'll have to go back and zap each one of them apart with scissors a little bit. That's okay. That's all right. Another one you kind of see the 3D-ish on there. 3D-ish, ishness. All right, what time is it? 12. Ooh, I got a big three minutes. Oh, I want to show you this. This is dried down more. So the top two rows are the fine tech pearlescent colors in that black tin. All right, trying to catch the light so you see the shimmer. No shimmer in the black. This one here is really interesting on the end. It's kind of like one of those scarab colors. Look at that. That's cool. And this is the pearl one, the two golds. Look how shimmery that is. A copper. And that's that russet kind of color. And then the plummy color. And then the next row is the Kuretake Starry Night set. Blue gold, red gold, yellow gold, champagne gold, light gold, and white gold. And then the bottom ones were those Japanese ones that all have the black pigment in it. They're really dark. I don't know that I will ever use those, to be honest. When I had it, do you hear her up there yappity yapping? Um, don't know what I'd ever use them for. The gold looks kind of cool on top of that dark, though, where it rolled down there. Happy accident. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off. Oh, hell, I don't have the jar lit on my, my glue. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, I'm going to take off tomorrow at 520, I believe, for Chicago. And I'll be back. We're coming back Wednesday morning. Um, and then heading right to the office. So thanks for joining me, guys. There was a lot of you on here today. I think I saw like 65 at one point, which kind of... I was happy, but kind of surprised me being a last minute, not planned thing. So that was fun getting to see everybody. So now her dad's home. Oh, that's one of our, his buddies coming in, I think. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for joining me. Good to see everybody. Bye. I have to save my video, so I'll still be on here for a second. Who came in the door? Had a random golfer walking around the house here. I don't know who it was. Okay, stop record.